Hey guys, I'm continuing straight on from the previous video. So, we now are going to look at finding dn. We're going to solve for dn. And the way we do that is this. When we have a pure bending case, the sum of the compression equals the sum of the tension. So for pure bending, this exists. This, ha this, this hasn't existed anywhere else. When we've been doing the axial, the uh, squash load or the decompression or the balanced nominal or the balanced actual, this has never existed. Only in pure bending will the compression equal the tension. Okay? So what that means is that the compression in steel layer 1 plus the compression in steel layer 2 plus the compression in the concrete will equal the tension in the steel layer 3. So, subbing in for all these values, CS1 was this over here, so I'm just going to chuck that in. So 135717 outside of dn minus 15 on dn plus the compression in steel layer 2 we found over here plus 135717 outside of dn minus 100 on top of dn plus the compression in the concrete which we found here 2975dn so 2975dn will equal the tension in steel layer 3 which we found over there so that's going to equal I'm going to rewrite that down here and I'm going to fit in the page so this is going to equal 20 that value there 203575 outside of 185 minus dn on dn so I just put that value over here okay so this essentially is now Compression steel layer 1, compression steel layer 2, compression concrete equals the tension in steel layer 3. What we're going to do now is multiply through by dn and expand out the brackets. So I'm going to do this. It's going to take, if you want to skip straight to the answer, I recommend you just uh, rewind, uh, fast forward, but I actually am going to do the maths just for this case. So if we expand this out and multiply through by dn, so we were going to have. Um, let me just multiply through by dn first, so 135717.